Assalamu alaikum. Peace be upon you, our respected viewers, and welcome to the Beliefs of Islam. With me, Hassan Hadi. In today's episode, we will talk of our responsibility towards previous prophets. It's been mentioned earlier that God sent 124,000 prophets throughout the history to every community dispersed throughout the world. Now, it's not possible to know the names of all those prophets, nor would it make sense for such to be a rational obligation upon the believer given the sheer number of them. Only a few of them are mentioned in the Quran as God says in the Holy Quran, We did aforetime send apostles before thee. Of them there are some of whose story we have related to thee, and some of whose story we have not related to thee. Quran chapter 40 verse 78 A Muslim is obligated to believe in the truth of all these prophets regardless of their mentioning or not. Those who are named have naturally a great significance to Muslims as their names are part of the Quran. Some other prophets are mentioned in the traditions of the holy prophet and imams. We also believe in the truth of all those prophets and we do not consider it permissible to belittle or disrespect any, rather they are all to be heavily respected. As for the leaders and founders of world religions which appeared prior to Islam, whose truth is neither vouchsafed nor refuted in the Quran and Hadith, we are obligated not to dishonor them because they might have been true prophets, but on the other hand we cannot positively assert that they were true prophets. It is therefore wrong when a Muslim starts categorically claiming that individuals like Krishna, other Buddha, Socrates, and other philosophers were indeed prophets. This formula however applies to those founders of religions who have appeared before the holy prophet of Islam. So far those prophets are concerned who claim to be a prophet after the holy prophet of Islam we must condemn them as impostors and liars, or minimally people who were deceived and mentally ill, because we know that no new prophet is to come after Muhammad al Mustafa, Allah's blessings and peace be upon him. Now, as the immediate audience of the Quran consists of the people of Arabia, whenever there was a new need to give an example, Allah the Almighty used the names of those prophets who had appeared in or near Arab Peninsula so that the hearers may understand the reference easily. It's for this reason that the majority of the prophets mentioned in the Quran are from Arabia, Palestine, Egypt, and Ethiopia. This is for today. Until we meet next episode, thank you very much indeed. And assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.